Hi, we're in the Dyna Lab at Purdue again, looking at possible design improvements to the high school electric go-kart. My name is Stu White, and I will be hosting this build. I've come across what I think is a pretty cool design feature for go-kart racing, a front braking system. I've been familiar with, these, with this idea, where the front and rear brakes are tied together so that both activate at the same time. What's unique about this braking system is that it has a handle that allows the front brake to activate independent of the rear brakes. Why might this be important, you ask? Well, if you're able to apply front brake into the corner, then the front end of the cart will dig into the corner and the rear end of the cart will be free to float around the corner, thus improving cornering ability in a race. So, let's begin. Because I've already began this build, before I started making the video, unfortunately, uh, I have to come back and do a quick recap of some of the things which I've done. Normally, on a go-kart system, you're going to have a front spindle that looks something like this. This front spindle attaches to the front end of the chassis, tire attaches here, tire rods attach here, and this allows the front end to turn. I'm going to replace this kind of a spindle with a spindle that will allow me to attach braking system to that. I'll show you that in just a second. The other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change the mounting system to the steering wheel. So normally you would mount the, st the steering wheel onto the steering wheel shaft uh, with a bracket that looks something like this. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to switch this one out with a different one, and I will show you that here in just a second as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this process and show you the end result, and then in future I'll be able to put together a video that will help you see how the corning system works as we get the whole cart put back together. So let me show you some of the components I'm going to be working with. So this is the new spindle that I'm going to be using. You can see that right here, what we have is a mounting system that will allow our caliper for the front braking system to mount here. That will allow this process, right, the braking system will be right here. We'll still be able to add our tire here and tie the whole thing together. We still have the tie rods tied on here. Up on the steering wheel, we have switched from this system that allowed the steering wheel to attach onto the steering shaft to one that will allow us to mount our handheld braking system up here at the top. So this bolt just unscrews. And then we're going to mount it here at this spot. A couple of things to remember in this build is that I have already led the brake system. So I've hooked all my braking lines up to each of the calipers and to the master cylinder here. I bled the lines making sure that there's no air in this so it's ready to go. I'm just ready to mount it up now. So this system here, the handle part is going to mount up here under the steering wheel. There's a knob on this side that holds it in place. A spacer. And then I just insert this machine screw and tighten it down with a six millimeter cow wrench. Now, I'm going to run my line down the side of the um, steering shaft and then around to the side, underneath to the calipers on either wheel. The caliper is going to mount here in the spot I showed you earlier. Next, I'm going to add my brake disc, the mounting system to the brake disc that holds the brake disc in place, this is held in place by three screws. with a nylon nut on the back.
Okay, once we've got that in place, we're ready for the hub. The little hub goes on. Two more spacers. And finally, mile enough to hold the whole thing together. Now, we'll do the same thing to the other side. We're good to go. And so, now it's back together. All we need to do now is finish the build, add tires, and we are ready to race.